My name is Jason Fector, 15,000 taps sugar bush operation in saint Luger, Quebec. My average syrup production is usually between three to three and a half pounds of syrup per tap. My name is Marc Fauchon. I own 5,200 taps here in saint Norbert, d'Arthabasca. I've been producing maple syrup since 1985. My average yield is between 4.5 to 5 pounds per tap. This year was a bit tougher. This year we did 3.2 pounds per tap with my 5,200 taps. I installed a monitoring system because we usually lack labor, especially for the sugar bush tasks. Moreover, it improves our work efficiency. We know exactly where to go fix our problems. Early in the morning, we check on our computer, and it's easy to figure out where to go and fix our biggest issues. It gives me more time to do other things in my sugar bush operation. The main reason I chose a monitoring system is to easily target leaking lines. In this way, we don't work for nothing, we don't walk for nothing, and of course, we know that we improve our sap yields. If we maintain a vacuum level at minus 27 versus minus 22, we know that productions will be higher at minus 27 inch of mercury. Thus, it is one of the main reasons I chose to use a monitoring system. We install sensors at the end of the lines to check our vacuum levels. This is what allows us to be more productive. Then, we put one of the extractor to see the vacuum differential. We can see if we have an important vacuum difference between the extractor and our end lines. Thanks to that, we are able to tell which lines needs to be checked first. We also installed tank level sensors. Usually, we're not always around our maple farm. We have several jobs going on at the same time. The system allows us to check on our phone if everything is going okay and if everything is working properly in our sugar house. Therefore, it allows me to do my other jobs and make sure everything is going well remotely. When it freezes at night, you can really see at which time it freezes and at which temperature it freezes. We know that we need to decrease our vacuum level to avoid early freezing. Thanks to our data source system, you are able to set a maximum vacuum level that will avoid early freezing. For example, tonight I will set my vacuum level at minus 23, and I know that tomorrow morning it won't be frozen because it will be at minus 2 degrees Celsius. When lines happen to freeze, we could see them directly on our data source system. As a result, we are going to fix problems before lines were thawed at 5 a.m. in the morning. We were looking at leaks and it was easy to locate them on selected lines. Another interesting thing as well, or useful thing, let's put it that way, is that when we got strong winds, we could see our vacuum levels dropping, like bam, bam. You could see what is happening live. This season has been particularly short in war. We really had to optimize our moves and make sure we harvest as much sap as possible. For 15,000 taps operation during strong windy days, it's not possible to check up all lines in one hour. We could find out which lines needed attention and care on what happened the night before. Thus, we could go ahead at the right place right away early the next morning. As a result, we could increase our profitability with our system this year. There are currently many monitoring systems available on the market. First, I chose a data source system because the Lapierre dealer equipment Verville is really close to my place. They offer great services. The after sale service is really important, and I definitely get it with my Lapierre dealer. When we raise our hand, when we call Stefan, he picks up the phone and he has answers to our questions even during the weekend. The second reason why I chose a data source system is because you get new data every one, two minutes. Now that's great when you go in a sugar bush because of a leak, you go ahead and fix it, and then you get the confirmation that the work was done properly on your phone live. The third one is because a data source system is really simple to use. There's also one thing I love, the historical vacuum data per line. This is quite magical, I would say. Thanks to this data, we can see if our lines freezes, at which time they freeze, if our pipe slopes are okay, if our pipe's diameters are okay. I'm really fond of this graph. It's great. I chose the Lapierre data source system because I have mainly Lapierre equipment in my operation. And we have been receiving great services, so we thought we should be happy with it. And finally, we got all the technical support needed. They came to help us install everything. They teach us how to use it, everything was perfect. In the morning, it's easy to visualize things thanks to different colors, red, yellow and green. 
you can directly see our percent tank level so that you have a great idea of the amount of boiling you will have during the day. The easiness of use is really an asset of the data source system. First, my Lapierre dealer came to my sugar bush. We checked my line number, then he advised me where I should place single, double or triple vacuum transmitters according to line positions and field slopes. Then they came and they helped us install the system and the rules of art. They also told us how to use it. They really gave us a great training with it. According to my experience, producers who are interested to install a monitoring system should look at refreshing times. Receiving new data every one or two minutes is essential, and the data source system fulfills this point. Second, after sales service, if there's an incident, you should be able to get answer when you raise your hands immediately. I think it's important. Finally, the system is simple to use and friendly. That's why it makes a great tool for anyone. Don't hesitate to install a data source system. It is satisfaction guarantee. It is easy to use, you can save time and increase your production. I've been using it for three years and I am definitely satisfied with it.